What's going on everybody? It's Josh. We got Kyle here, possibly. I gotta walk backwards because the sun, the lighting is just so weird. But we are at the uh, Ohio Toy Show. So, great Ohio Toy Show, good lord. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. like five this is like my third version of this intro right now. Um, but we just got here um, real quick. This show was approved by the county health inspector. They have measures in place. Everything's good to go um, to health code or whatever you want to call it right now. So I got my mask and we're, we're going to head in here. Hopefully get, uh, get some good footage before the crowd pours in because we got about a half hour. So we shall see how that goes. But real quick, one, you need to check out this guy's channel, Slap Shot Toys. The link's going to be in the uh, description or somewhere down in the info area. And then right here, I want to give a big shout out to Olivia Renee. Her channel will also be in the description. This is a uh, rattle pack pen. As you, if you guys are Logic fans, you know he calls his fan base the Rat Pack. And he just had a little baby. And this is the little baby's uh, commemorative pen is what I'll call it. So a big thank you to her for sending that over. She knows I'm a Logic fan. And uh, she thought that I would enjoy it. And I do. So thank you, Olivia. Um, but yeah, I want to try to find Rob so we can get in here and hopefully get some footage for you guys. Footage right away for you guys. Like I said before, the uh, the crowd gets in. Pretty good. <laughs> no. no. Alright. Good old Kyle trying to gas me up. I do back. Black Series set is pretty good. Alright, yeah. But we're going to walk around and uh figure this stuff out. I need to stop touching my face with this mask on. That's the bad part. Um, you want to go? Yeah, let's go get you a mask. That would probably be, uh, that'd probably be worth it. So, big thank you to Rob and everyone here um, for letting us in a little bit early. So, Kyle is mask shopping right now. Do you happen to have any back? <laughs> What's up, James? What's up, dude? Not much, man. You uh, you were one of the last people to to um, confirm that you were setting up here, weren't you? Yeah, that's awesome. I was happy to see that you were coming. Well, you know, he he worked with me, and you know, so. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah. How much do you have on that? Okay, I like that a lot. You don't see it very often. Nope, that is sick. Uh, so this is James's booth. This man is the one who's responsible for CTS, the Columbus Toy Show. Well, it was and this, right? <laughs> this is a collector's item now, but we do have a, a May 2021 date coming up. So That'd check be good. out CTS promotions. And you're good. still good for August as of now, yeah, right? Yeah, August 30th. We're still good at the fairgrounds. Okay. Um, but uh, check out the website and Facebook at CTS Promotions. That's right. So I'll obviously be at the August show. Of course. That's a thing that has to happen, so I'm excited for that. But I'll uh, let this man set up even more, and then we'll get some more footage elsewhere. Here we have a, uh, the main booth I always venture to. Mr. Aaron from Roma Collectibles. He uh, he always sets up a good show, as you guys know. 99% of the time, this is my thumbnail on local shows, is this man's booth. <laughs> and uh, Mythic Legions, we have more, just ask. And um, good for them, I don't want to touch anything. But it's a good little overview. Got lots of good stuff. Oh, you got the new boss fight horses. Sheesh, these look good, actually. Wow. Some basic figures. Rumble. Society. Oh my goodness. That scared me. Oh. If there is anyone in this building that does not have a blue wristband, okay, you can get oh, in no the way. admission line. You will be asked to leave. We have a blue wristband. Yeah, we're good. Line. We're good. Yeah. Dealers, want to remind you. Oh. All right, never mind. Here's some Mezco figures. Somehow my camera is uh, at half battery, even though I charged it. So that's that's not a good thing right now. Well, the Force Unleashed pack. That's a good one. Very cool. Just need to, uh, I guess I need to hustle now. This is a bummer. Hmm. Um, I don't think I missed anything on here, but yeah, there's, I mean, here's a good little 
overview, my camera would focus. So this is one building and they do have a, uh, a second one. I'm not sure, I think that's a booth that's not open yet, but yeah, we got some, got some stuff to look through. So I'm gonna try to keep these clips short, that way I can save my battery. So I did uh, make a hot toy purchase out of nowhere. Not really out of nowhere, I had it set up. But shout out to uh, Brendan, Cash on Main, I think, was the, uh, is his store up in Springfield, Ohio. Let me just try to double check this real quick. Um, yes. Yeah, shout out to Brennan, Cash on Main in Springfield, Ohio. So, big thanks to him for this hookup. I found it on eBay and he let me uh, do a little local buy on it. So Kyle is making a big purchase. I'll let him, I'll let him do that. Take the money in the basket back here. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's just look at some stuff real quick. I am just so upset with myself about this phone battery. These sneak attacks. Oh, not supposed to touch. Sorry. These are cool. So I'm contemplating buying that Sideshow Battle Droid on the speeder bike thing from James from CTS because that, that's just a cool piece to have. And it's not too often you really see that, so. You see here, but I know these guys. These are good dudes. Let's go. Uh, let's go try to support them. Oh wow! Legacy Falcon. That's pretty crazy. And there's some of the newer Black Series over there. Um, new Legends got the AOA wave. Which is pretty cool. I kind of, kind of want to get that Dooku because I'm, uh, I have all the, um, what's that called, the Attack of the Clones wave pre-ordered through uh, Nate. So I feel like he would be cool to have with all the Jedi. But and then these vintage carded figures. That Luke looks really good. And that Bestman Han. Dang, these look good. I miss Black Series, guys. The NECA. Okay, Turtles. A bunch of good stuff. Alright, so I will put this down and try to go to a different booth for you guys. I'm going to try to crank out looking at all this stuff as quickly as possible. So these, uh, these guys at the booth wanted me to show this off. It is a G.I. Joe Cobra Night Raven inbox. Everybody, G.I. Joe World go crazy, right? That's cool. Um, no, but these are some good dudes. These, are at, these guys are at pretty much every single local show. So there's a lot of stuff I have no idea what I'm looking at, but they told me to film this stuff, so I'm going to film it for them. I don't even know what their booth's name is, though. That's the bad part. Here's Cincy. Here's some uh, Club Joes. Like I said, all time. From what they said. That. And there's some guy up there. I have, uh, I have no idea what that is up there. But. What's up, Rob? We got some good stuff. And a bunch of 30th edition figures. So, their booth looks the same every time. So, if you guys recognize this setup, this is the booth that I'm at. They so graciously. One of me to do is, do you have, what's your what's your booth name? I don't see any I don't see any advertising. Trans Hunter Toys, Alpha Omega. You know we we just we just sell, man. It ain't, it ain't about you know. I got I got a name Facebook page. All right, what's people. what's the Facebook then? Facebook page. It's Alpha Dash Omega Collectibles. Alpha Dash Omega Collectibles. There I'm you go. Trans Hunter Toys on Twitter. Trans Hunter Toys. There you go. Yeah, if you want to follow me. There you go. It's all good. <laughs> he said move. <laughs> so this is. This is their booth. But like I was telling them, typically at their other shows that they set up, they have like half of this. But you guys always see this, because that blue wall, the Lego wall is not always memorable. Not in Cincinnati. No, but at all at the, the expo, like, we get more space. At the, yeah, at the Dayton shows, like errands and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a nice size booth we're though. We're limited to how much space we can buy. Shout out to the Great Ohio Toy Show for that though. I want to get a uh, another Hoff Trooper, but if I am not, Completely Hello, blind. Guys. What's up, man? How are you? I believe this is forty-eight dollars. I believe the R2 says 40, forty-two dollars. So, uh, 
I was hey guys, maybe going to buy one or two of these. Okay. Buy two, get one free pop. Is this awesome. is this forty two dollars on that? Am I reading that correctly? Uh, let's see here. I didn't want to touch. That's forty eight and twenty oh. percent off. Wow. He's the hottest one in that series. I think. I mean, I know you can still buy them online, so I'll just yeah. I will highly pass on that and uh, I we'll buy it online. walk away from. From the booth on that one. Holy smokes. So this is what I was looking at earlier. Good old James. This thing is sick. <laughs> Good old James. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, what's up? Here's Battle Droid. Uh, have him put. I didn't know that he came off. I thought it was like a statue, like a statue-ish with, oh boy. Pretty so, cool. Oh, that's awesome. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's. It would be a cool like piece. Yeah. Like, I think. Like. I like wonder if this would fit in a detail. I'm sure it would. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, because he's not much taller than the actual, but like. Yeah, yeah. the bike. Yeah. Damn. Hey, how are you? Shoot! 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 Kyle. Just wanna. Oh. Yep. Yeah. White. Um, doesn't matter. Oh, this thing is. Detailing that is. It is. I mean, that'll look cool in a shelf, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Because it, uh, I think it angles. I, I, because I looked up pictures. Oh, so like that. I think it tilts. All right, guys, I'm going to make a split second decision on this. A shout out to Time Warp. These guys right here. You probably have seen them many times, and I have done videos there. But it's Time Warp Toys and Collectibles in Fairborn. Um, I'll put their stuff either on the screen or down in the description. Something like that will happen. But I told these guys, I'm going to come back and make another video once everything is clear, everything is good, and then I can give them some, some more support. I cannot talk with this thing on my mouth. Good lord, this is hard. But anyways, shout out to Chris and all them. So they're good guys. Go check them out. So at Time Warp Smooth, I don't think I showed this, but Chris was just telling me he just got this uh, Mezco Hellboy collection in or series i don't know i mean what really is a collection you know what i mean i mean is a collection two figures or 200 but i know uh, there's some people in here that could be interested might be interested are interested in these so and then here is their info time work toys bam well since he throwback so I'm currently waiting to uh, get my thumbnail in front of Aaron's booth. Shout out to Rory right there. We just got a picture together, so I appreciate that, man. Um, but this is the booth. Oh my God, you can't see my camera. What is good with this? There we go. This is the booth I always get thumbnails at, like I said. So this is what we're doing. We are, where are we at? We're following the yellow, the yellow lines. Kyle and I are both rocking ones today. I got my- uh, mine, are, mine are mids though, not the highs. Oh yeah, these are the high. I think these yeah. are the 2013 Royals, if anybody cares. <laughs> I love these things, but uh, that's my shoe selection for the day. Here we go. Both hatches. Giving a little demonstration on what's missing. Of course, you know your lights work over here on the printer. Dude, and all that. Dang. Oh, it comes down. I didn't know it was like motorized or whatever. Yeah. The landing pad thing or mm -hmm. running pad. That's sick, dude. You got your LEDs in the back. <laughs> oh, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. That is awesome, though, man. It's super cool. I don't need it. Yeah, I don't I need like it. That mantra. <laughs> it's so cool, I'm man. Start teaching myself that. And yeah. I, I got these in this week. Oh, nice. Same way. Have you seen this out of box yet? Yeah. Have you seen? Oh man, they're cool. Yeah, I kept. Yeah, one of those, I, I was so. surprised that they re-released it though, but at least they gave it like a, a stand and everything right. too. And the back's different. And they yeah. get more paint on it, but uh, yeah. you know the secondary price on the Very cool. They so we are leaving the show. Kyle got a uh, my something. my world my first dive into statues. It's like a tweeter head statue. That's all I saw on the box. Yeah. But watch Kyle's video to figure out what the hell it is because I do not know. Um, I need to put my sunglasses on. I don't know why I keep recording when I do stuff like this. It's just like what? What do people want to see this for? Anyways, it makes it real. Yeah. Oh man, my shoes. Um. But we're done. Like this, the we the uh, talk um, that we're done. That's yeah, that's so pretty cool. much it. I bought this for a uh, for a friend, uh, good old Eric. He was not able to come to the show today, so he asked me to look out for this one thing. And ironically, 
uh, the homies had it at Time Warp. So we got that. I got the uh, Sideshow Battle Droid on their little jet ski looking thing. And I got something from this guy. I don't think, I don't even think I said that yet. No. I got the uh, A New Hope Han hot toy from Kyle. And which eventually got him that, I believe, correct? Essentially, yeah. Yeah, so it was just like a, a trade, but there was money involved in and two different items. And then I bought uh, the Sideshow Luke and Stormtrooper disguise, Hot Toys Luke. I can't talk when I'm going in this. Can we keep that in? Please don't. I might. Let's see how, when I edit, how it feels. I bet you could. So we're back at the house. Um, Kyle just left. He actually hung out for a little bit, so that was fun. To uh, kind of just sit down and chit chat with him. I'm gonna see if I can maybe put this somewhere. I mean, hypothetically, I should just like cut this and then reclip it, but perfect. It goes right there. Um, so we went to Mavericks and Game Runners after the show. So I picked up a couple comics. I know I'm not like a comic guy anymore, but honestly, after talking with Kyle, and if you guys ever actually get a chance to sit down and talk with him or talk to him online, dude knows a lot about comics. And every single book we looked at, he convinced me that I wanted to read it. Like I didn't know I wanted to read it until Kyle told me that. I was like, I got to. So. I picked up uh, issue one of Bounty Hunters. Um, I guess this is this one's called the Ghost of Corellia. So I'm not for sure if each book or each issue highlights like different bounty hunters, but I can see possibly Bosk and possibly Boba Fett on the cover of this one. And then I got issue two as well. You can see possibly Bosk, possibly Boba Fett. Um, and it's called Sorrow of the Syndicates and it's the same guy in the middle. So actually now I think about it It's probably following these three guys um, But I was just like, you know what? I might as well. I'm not doing much nowadays. Um, and then I got this. It's called Conspiracy Area 51. No idea what it is Kyle knows the the publisher whoever creates the comics. He said they make good books. So I picked it up So then I'm going to, I, I'm actually gonna work backwards in this hall. So this was the last thing that we visited, Mavericks and Game Runners. Um, we also went to a Walmart real quick because Kyle wanted to look at some of the, for the McFarland stuff. And I bought a gaming monitor. I know it's not that cool. Um, but I've been streaming a lot lately, not only games on um, Twitch, twitch.tv slash Josh Pence. You can follow me there. Um, but I've been live streaming a lot on YouTube and I like this whole dual monitor setup. Um, and unfortunately, I only have a gaming monitor and my PC. And I want two PC monitors, so I had to buy a third one, which is my gaming monitor. Now, we get into the Hot Toys and Sideshow products that I bought today at the show. So the first thing that I think you guys already know I picked up is this Sideshow uh, STAP and Battle Droid. This thing looks awesome. Um, I got it for $200, I believe. I'm not sure if I said the price, but I just did now. Got it for $200. Bucks. Um, I had no idea this was even a thing. I knew that Sideshow did battle droids, but I didn't know it came with their little vehicle. I, I don't know what to call it. Um, but Phantom Menace is uh, the first Star Wars movie that I watched in theaters. So even though the, the battle droids are kind of silly, which I think they were intended to be, um, they're cool. So he comes off of his uh, vehicle and I, I did open him up. I think I actually showed you guys it open. I'm not for sure. Um, but I unfolded them and everything right before I recorded this and he looks awesome. So I'm very excited for that um, So shout out to James from CTS for that and then I Believe I showed this I got the Luke Skywalker in disguise the Hot Toys exclusive I'm not sure if Luke was just the exclusive or if there's something exclusive to him inside the packaging Because um, I know Sideshow does do their exclusives and then from Kyle Big thank you to that brother a new hope Han finally got him in my collection um, so once again, this is it for the haul. Um, hopefully I'm done for a little bit. Um, but my camera's flashing low, as you guys know, it's a low battery. But anyways, real quick, follow Kyle's journey um, on his new found thing of toy hunting. Uh, he's like rebranding his whole channel and everything, doing a lot of cool stuff. So go follow him. Link's in the description um, before this dies. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the live streams and all that stuff. My birthday's in two weeks from today, June 13th. Live stream, please be there. I'm turning 30. It's going to be crazy for me, not you guys, but I'm, I'm old. But I love you guys. Thank you for the support. And as always, may the figs be with you.